I'm good. Why are you going back and forth with them? It's not that I'm going back and forth. It's just like I'm just trying to have a transparent conversation. It's just almost that I feel like um, so many women are judged, but I want a wife to get on here and speak her truth. You know what I'm saying? Like I want, I'm not even trying to go back. I literally randomly picked you. <laughs> I thought you had no, something. because I watched the show and I feel like at the end of the day, you made a mistake. All women made a mistake. It's fine. You didn't know he was married. Did I make a God. mistake or did he make a mistake because was I married or was he married? He was married, so he Okay, made a so did I make a mistake because I'm a I'm a single woman. And granted, I do feel that I now that I'm older, I feel like I should have respect for, for women. But if you're not respecting your marriage, what do another woman give a fuck about your marriage? Right. And I okay. and I feel like he's not the only one. You're not the only one. Everybody he's definitely does. not the only one on that show. Um, truth be told, quiet kept what I've heard that all the men that y'all have ever seen on that show have definitely cheated. And I heard this from a valuable source, but, you know. I wouldn't have paid nobody no mind because at the end of the day, half an eight husband is cheating on them right now in these comments. That's why I'm laughing. But it's not about that. It's not about the half these husbands cheating on them in these comments. We're not even worried about that. That's everyday life. Well, we're trying to come to of the matter of, you know, um, if you are a wife and do you feel like your husband steps out and why do you feel like your husband steps out and do you blame the other woman? That's that literally that's what I'm trying to get at. I don't get I don't care about I feel like you can't blame the other woman. You gotta blame your man. If you like you gotta blame your man as well. You can't always blame the woman. It's the man too. I mean, I feel like mm, I feel like you should blame your man. I feel like you should never blame the woman. You're right. I, I agree with you one hundred percent. <laughs> yep, I sure do. That's how I feel. I sure do. At the end of the day, men's gonna cheat even if they not married, even though they in a relationship and they are fiance, they don't care, they're gonna cheat. But wives don't understand it because they feel like they get married and they feel like that, that their husband owes them whatever or just because they told them we all been blinded by a man before we've all been felt like we've been the you know, the cream of they crop. Hell, I in my mind, I'm the cream of the crop. That doesn't mean shit. Somebody said, "Wait, what if I'm stepping out with him? Well, what if I'm cheating on him too?" Bitch, do your thing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the fuck? Do you, girl? Do you, boo? <laughs> do you? That's your best thing, right? But I just feel like I feel like the woman should not always get mad at the woman because it's your man for it too. You gotta but get I just that feel like it's a, it's a certain amount of respect that we should have for women, for black women. Um, I do feel like that. Like we should, we should have a common ground to, of, of as to where we stick together. But also, when you talking crazy at the side of your neck and your nigga still pursuing, what do you want me to do? Right. And then half of these people don't even know you. They don't even know the situation. They just know you because of the TV show. So of course everybody wanna get I'm on. not even on a TV show that I was gonna be like I was be like, Oh, okay, let me get on let me get it to care to like everybody else. Let me say some bullshit. And I said it and I regret it, but nonetheless, a bullshit ass TV show. But I feel like everybody make a mistake. You fine, you human. Like you human. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, but I also since I'm put on this platform, since it is eleven hundred people on here who is you know, watching us, I do not think that it's okay for you to deal with somebody's husband of the simple fact that because I know how men are, I feel like a man will tell you and sell you a dream. I feel like a man will tell you anything. So I don't want to make it seem like that I'm okay or I feel like, oh, okay, do what you do. No, baby, girl. <laughs> nah, fuck these niggas. Like, I don't want I to agree. Because really I was 24 when I first started dealing with the situation. No, 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 and look at them we want a wife obviously you do right people are crazy but i'm glad that you got enough sense for you to know what the fuck going on i do it's fine boo mm -hmm. you gonna make mistakes where are you from i'm from new york i'm from the bronx you from bronx how you start watching that show I stopped watching it now. I, I, that was like, I watched it last season. I don't watch it no more, though. Mm. I just what was, don't like what, it. Was the, what was the best season? Because we got viewers on here, so let's talk to them. All right. I feel, well, I really don't have a best season. Okay. I just, 
I just didn't like the way how Martel treated you and Mel. Like, he was rude to both of y'all. And then I just didn't like okay. the fact that how the lady's going to gain up on you and they don't even know the situation. Like, they heard it through the vine. Like, they heard it through the streets. But they act like they husband not cheating on them. Especially Tisha. I, I mean, I will say this about her. Um, when you become, when you get on a public platform like this, when it's millions of people watching y'all, um, you de you determine what you want to be known. Um, if you don't want your business to be out there, you you don't want your business to be out there. That's how I feel. Like, right. Want to be I agree with one of the um the followers. The see this season, I heard this season was boring. I heard that too. Mm. Somebody said the show got really dry. <laughs> Did it? They not talking about me no more. I don't know. That's why thousand people tuned in because they like hold the fuck up. This ain't right. <laughs> Where is baby girl at telling her her what the fuck really going? On? Okay, you know what. But it was nice talking to you. Let's get a white. Right. Let's, let's get a white for him. Let's okay, get a white. Right. Let's get a white. We're going to get a white to tap in. And, and make sure you comment and let's see what the fuck going on. I will. I will. I'm going to comment. Okay, sis. <laughs> They're hitting on me. Right here. <laughs> I'm famous on here. They're hitting on me. <laughs> I don't know if it's blow off. I don't know. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Next caller. I need a wife. I need a wife. Harry, add me. Let's wake it up. Fuck it. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Fuck. Fuck. Ooh. It's about 40 of y'all that want to go live. I don't know. Let me see who to add. Tell me to add me. Say add me. Add me. Add me. Add me. Add me. Nobody hating on add me, add me. Okay, okay, y'all say add me, add me, and I'm literally gonna I'm literally gonna pick one of y'all. I'm gonna pick somebody, y'all. Let's see. Okay, sis. Listen, are your wife beautiful? Okay, I sent a request before. You know, I'm not a wife. I'm okay, but since you're not a wife, since you're not a wife, and since I've already added you, let's let's talk about it for a couple of seconds because I want to talk to a wife. But since you're not a wife, let's talk to you because I, I I picked you. Okay. Okay. So, how do you feel? How do I feel? I feel that um that both parties, you and him, may be wrong, are wrong. Okay. Um, I feel like he definitely didn't respect his marriage, and he's the one in the relationship, not you. On the other hand, I feel like you are saying, well, if he doesn't respect it, why should I? But me personally, I think I would want to feel more valued from a man who wouldn't consider me like as a side piece or think of something more long term. So And when you're young and you're not thinking about it and you just having fun since I was twenty four, he was ten years younger than me. You're not thinking about no old ass nigga. You know I'm, what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna just be real. Cause see a lot of people don't be real in this situation to know what's really going on. Girl, you're not thinking about this man. I know you live your I, life. You get I your bill pay. You you know what I'm saying? You make a mistake, but you're young as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But I grew up with both parents in my house. And see, that's and the difference between me and you. And do you know that is a major fact in depending on um how can how how children look at relationships depending on if they grew up in a two parent household or not. And see, you grew up with your mother and your father, so you grew up in a structured household. So that that goes along to the long of saying men. Why are y'all here having kids by these women who y'all do not plan on marrying? Because y'all y'all make these broken homes, then y'all have these kids, then y'all have these girls who grow up, who sleep with married men, or who sleep with whatever, who feel like it's okay, who who not getting whatever the fuck they need to be getting from home. You see what I'm saying? 
Okay, but here's the question. Do you feel like you have to have grown up in the situation to know right from wrong? I don't feel like you have to grown up in a two-parent household to know right from wrong, but I do feel like you have to have a different experience to know what you should do in different situations. I don't feel like you should grow up in a, in a two-parent household to know right from wrong. Of course I don't. Right, and that's just... But I do feel like it's certain you know. experience that you go through in life that you, you know, you learn from. So, so I do feel like that. At any point, did you feel like, you know, hey, like, let me think, like, what I'm doing is wrong, and then what made you say, I'm going to keep doing this when I know it's wrong? Um, Of course, you always feel like when you feel like something is wrong. I feel like a year and a half in, we were disputed. I'm cussing her out. I'm cussing him out. Why? Because I don't want to be in this situation. But when he's still pursuing you, you know what I'm saying? What do you do? You, you like, it, It's hard for a younger woman, for a woman who's 10 years older, because I am 31 years old. If I but I feel like you old, were you were in your prime at that time. He's not the right, only Right, but you don't know when you're in your prime when you're so young, but I was 31 years old. But that's what I'm saying. If you're I in your prime. There's year old right now. You're go, very... If I, I'm in Huntsville, Alabama. If I go on campus and give me a 21-year-old man, do you understand that I will run circles around him? If I meet his mother, his mother would hate me because she knows that I'm 10 years younger. I'm 10 years older than her son, so I know what's up. Period, point blank. You, like, you can say whatever. Like, I know that I can take a 21-year-old and, and, and have his mind gone. I don't care what none of y'all say. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Wrong is wrong. Right is right. But I still feel like when you are put in a situation um, where you don't know no better, sometimes life happens. And I don't blame people for that because I wasn't married. I feel like it was wrong, but I wasn't married, though. Okay, so, like, what do you feel like, knowing what you know now, what would you have done differently? Do you regret what you did? Or, like, excluding the child, because I know you don't regret your child. But knowing what you know now, would you have done things differently? Of course. course. I would want a a younger woman to have the freedom that that I have of the choice of saying no and going to live her life and not having the baggage of having a child and being with a, a man who's on TV using her for ratings and her, both of them using what? Like, no. Like, of course. Of course. Of course, if I can take myself out of the situation where these people would not be, oh my God, praised for their wrong situation, I would. I sure would. But if, you know, when you do wrong, you learn. Um, you learn. You let me learn. And I feel like it was a lesson for me to learn. Um, it has, it, it doesn't have nothing to do with outside of them telling their story. You know what I'm saying? They tell their story how the fuck they want to tell their story. But nonetheless, I'm still a person. I still have a lot to say. And I still have a lot of my side that was not 